Before we can successfully catch a monitor, first it's important to understand exactly what we are up against, because this is no typical backyard lizard. What separates them from other lizards is a long, slender neck, a streamlined body, the ability to run at impressive speeds, and the uncanny skill to climb almost any natural surface. Scientifically, monitor lizards are known as Varanus, which literally means dragon. And all it takes is one look to see how these reptiles were once mistaken for a mythological fire-breathing beast. Monitors are considered apex predators, and Australia is home to 30 of the world's 53 described species. Ranging in size from a foot in length, these are the dwarf monitors, to a whopping eight feet if you're talking about the continent's biggest lizard, the Parenti. If we could find one on the shore, either submerged partially in the water or on the rocks, I should be able to sneak up slowly, spring up, and catch it. I'm gonna look up this. Okay. Swim that way. Here. All right, he's moving. There he is. There he is. You're going to have to just like reach up, blind reach up. He's still on land? Do you see him? Okay. Oh, he's coming here. He's coming here. We got him cornered. Focused on me. I'm gonna keep his attention. He's focused on me. I don't know. No, he's onto you. He is so onto you. He's onto you. Just go completely on land. Still got him. We're not gonna let him go anywhere. <laughs> we might have to, uh, like stage ourselves here, because it might come up. It has to come up for air. Yeah. The water's relatively clear, but every time I touch any of this algae, it gets murky. We should just keep ourselves right in this spot here. There it is. There it is, it's right there. Right to the right, to the right of me, you see it? Okay. I see it, I see, see it. it, yep, I see it. Okay, don't don't move, don't move. Yep, yep. yep. I think you should go around maybe. All right, you stay there. Or no, or, or no yeah, you can follow it underwater. Yes! There it is! A water monitor! Woo! We got one! Got one! Let's slowly and calmly get ourselves back to shore and get the presentation. Yes! Merton's water monitor, this is awesome. It was an incredible amount of effort, but we finally managed to catch the Merton's water monitor. Look at those big eyes. As a diurnal species, they have incredible eyesight when it comes to searching for their prey under the light of day. 
Oh my gosh, such a cool, cool lizard. Now you'll also notice this big ear hole just behind the jaw there. These lizards also are very keen when it comes to sound. Now what's so unique about this monitor specifically is this is one of the only ones that will spend time in the water, both hunting and evading predators. So this is a semi-terrestrial and then semi-aquatic reptile and perfectly designed for this ecosystem. Aside from the design, the sleek, slender design, the most unique feature about this monitor species is its tail. It is very flat and very long, just like a rudder. So if I hold it like that, you can see how narrow it is. If I turn it like this, and you can see how flat it is. This lizard relies completely on its tail for locomotion underwater. You may also notice that it does not have web feet. And you may be saying, well, it's a semi-aquatic species, shouldn't it have web feet? No monitors have web feet. They simply rely on their legs to keep them buoyant at the surface. So when the lizard comes up for a breath of air, it'll take a big gulp, fill its lungs and float, and then keep the legs out to the side for stability. Now when it comes to prey, this predator right here is double trouble. Not only can it get you on land, but it can also follow you into the water and get you there as well. This species specifically specializes in catching fish and crayfish. This lizard senses its environment just like a snake. They have a forked tongue that will come out. They're picking up the chemicals within the air and then bringing that tongue back into their mouths. That tongue rubs over an organ on the roof of the skull called the Jacobson's organ. That's like this reptile's little internal computer that says, okay, there is prey going in this direction, another monitor's gone in this direction, or uh-oh, a predator has walked through this environment. I better turn around and go the other way. They're non-venomous, but just like all other monitors, they do have razor sharp teeth that are curved backwards in the skull. That means that if it were to bite me, it would lock on in place and be very hard to get off. So what I wanna do is stay as calm as possible so as to not provoke a bite. Well, it was an incredible amount of effort, but we finally managed to get the Mertens water monitor. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's let this monitor back off into the environment and call it a day. So what I'm gonna do is just set my hands into the water and the lizard's gonna take off. Over the years, I have worked incredibly hard to encounter monitor lizards. But when it comes to the Mertens water monitor, the effort required to get up close with this reptile pushed me to the limit of my physical abilities. By entering this animal's oasis, I was able to learn firsthand how difficult it would be for a predator to catch one of these reptiles.